This is probably the last roster update of NBA 2K23. 2K drops kind of a surprise update today on a Tuesday of all days. The final day of the regular season technically because the playing tournament started today. So I guess you can say it's the final day. They've made a roster update. It's very minor changes, but every single NBA team got plus ones, twos, and threes, and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to cover the biggest ones in today's video. If you like that kind of content, please join the pack and subscribe because I'm going to do it every single year. Let's get it, man. Up first is Dwayne Dedman minus two. He goes from a 76 to a 74. You know, for a long time, Dwayne Dedman has been like a five to six point per game score on five to six rebounds. You know, he's, he's more of a, do you need someone off the bench that can rebound and defend? This is your guy. And that's all he's ever really been. A 74 overall should be good for him. A really, really good one is Mac McClung gets plus two. He got to play the other night for like the first time this season and dropped almost a triple double. Like the first opportunity to get a play this season and he almost drops a triple double is super cool. Plus two for him. For the Milwaukee Bucks, Drew Holiday gets a plus one to an 88 overall. This firmly places him as the second best player on the Milwaukee Bucks for the end of the year, which is always good to see. And then Chris Milton also goes plus one. So elevating his game, making him clear of Brooke Lopez as the third best player for the chicago bulls demar de rosen goes minus one so now they're tied with zach levine as the best player on the bulls to end the season off nikola vucevic goes plus one he has been a hella consistent player for the bulls all season and been a big reason why they've been coming back and in playoff position right now for the cleveland cavaliers plus one donovan mitchell finishes the season as a 92 overall. One of the best pure bucket getters in the NBA. The Cavs have been looking on fire and that's because of Donovan Mitchell. Jason Tatum goes plus one back to a 95 overall and ends the season as a 95 overall. Robert Williams the third minus one, which means now Malcolm Brogdon is tied with him as the third best player on the team for the Clippers. Russell Westbrook goes plus one. This now makes him tied as the third best player on the team. I do feel like he should be maybe an 82 to make him for sure the third best player on the team, but it's still good enough and I'm happy with it. Mason McPlumley goes minus one. He's been getting a lot of minutes, but man, does he struggle in those minutes. For the Grizzlies, John Morant minus one. I don't like that they downgraded John Morant. I more felt that Jared Jackson Jr. just should have gotten a lot more up. He goes plus one. But I do feel like Jared Jackson Jr. maybe should have gone up like plus three because he's been on fire. Dylan Brooks also goes plus one. Really has solidified himself as a great defender this season. And Luke Kennard plus two. He's been an amazing three-point shooter for the Grizzlies. And the highest upgraded player in this roster is Kenneth Lofton Jr. with a plus three three to a 72 overall he finally got some minutes the other night because the grizzlies didn't really like need a win so they just played like their like reserves essentially and kenneth lofton dropped like 43 points so look at that for the atlanta hawks onyeka akongu plus one this makes him the fourth best player on the atlanta hawks even though i feel like he's as good as deandre hunter it's fine. We also have Jalen Johnson who goes plus two. Picking it up at the end of the season is always a good thing. For the Miami Heat, Kyle Lowry plus one. He's now the fourth best player on the Miami Heat, which is not a good sign because Kyle Lowry has not been good this season. So that's not good. Shvi on the Charlotte Hornets goes plus two and Thor also goes plus three. So two players on the team to get upgrades, not major ones because this is just like end of the season upgrades. Doesn't really mean anything. The Utah Jazz, Taylor Horton Tucker plus two one he goes to a 79 overall and now is tied as the fifth best player on this utah jazz team you know he's only 22 years old playing really well with the minutes he was given at the end of the year it should be interesting to see if he gets a lot better next season for the sacramento kings trey lyles minus one this might be the first downgrade on any player of this team this season trey lyles is that guy uh shocker for me julius randall minus one so now he's tied as the best player with Jalen brunson i did feel like julius randall was the best player on this team but they decided to downgrade him at the end of the year quinton grimes plus two this man has been on fire these last couple games. I think averaging 22 in the last 10 games, he's been really good. And then Obi Toppin plus one, also getting a bigger role lately and playing well in that role. The Los Angeles Lakers, Austin Reeves plus two, making him the fourth best player on this Lakers team that are about to play the playing tournament today. It's, you know, Austin Reeves came out of nowhere, but man, is he showing up this year. Also, Tristan Thompson was added onto the Lakers. Where are you? There you are. 73 overall Tristan Thompson also added onto the team. For the Orlando Magic, Cole Anthony plus one back into the 80 overall club for the first time since like the beginning of the season. So you have a couple 80 overall players on the Magic and they're all really young. So next season could be good. Man, for the Mavericks, somehow more downgrades. Reggie Bullock minus one. I don't know how anyone can get worse on this team, but Jaden Hardy plus one, the only bright spot on this roster for the future. There you go. For the Nets, 
Spencer Dinwiddie plus one and Cam Thomas plus one. I think more than anything, this is big for Cam Thomas because this puts him as a top five player on the team. And this is a playoff team, like a valid playoff team. So Cam Thomas makes like the front page of the team. Um, they started to play him lately again because it was the end of the season and he was performing well. The Nuggets. I was talking about this man the other day, Bruce Brown plus one. He has been in a, a very important defender for this Nuggets team, a team that struggles on defense. Bruce Brown has been filling that role while still being a good scorer. I think he should have been Tyler Tibbs called Pope and arguably even one overall above him. For the Pacers, a controversial one, Benedict Mathurin minus one. So now he's not in the AD overall club anymore. I'm not sure how I feel about that one, but they wanted to take him out of their last minute. For the Pelicans, we have Brandon Ingram plus one. He has been carrying the Pelicans in the last 10 games in order for them to make the play-in tournament. You have CJ McCollum minus one, and then you have Trey Murphy plus one. I believe putting him in the 80 overall club for the first time in his career. We have Jaden Ivey plus one. Now, they actually have Cade Cunningham healthy as well. That's pretty funny. So now Jaden Ivey on a healthy Pistons would be the third best player on this team. Then James Wiseman minus one. So they take him out of the 80 overall club but still, these are your five best players on the Pistons. A good look for the future next season. For the Raptors, Pascal Siakam plus one. I argued that last roster that they, they downgraded a minus one, and I was like, of all the players on this team, you shouldn't downgrade Pascal Siakam because it's not his fault this season. And they put him back up to an 87 overall. With the Rockets, Kevin Porter Jr. goes plus one. I mean, he's a young player. Every, I mean, it's weird. I feel like he's been a young player for like five years now, but he's still only 22 years old, still looking okay. You know, 81 overall is pretty high, so it's not bad. The Spurs, Zach Collins goes plus one. I remember getting Zach Collins, I think it was last year, but he was injured and we were like, oh, he could be pretty good, but we didn't really know if he was going to pull it off. Well, now that he's healthy and playing a lot of minutes, he's been looking like one of our better players. Hopefully that will keep going into next season. For the Suns, Chris Paul's first upgrade of the year, plus one for him. Uh, you know, he's actually been a great playmaker and efficient lately, which is important for this Phoenix Suns team to succeed. Bismack Biombo plus two. Always, always important for Bismack to succeed. You know, one of the best shot blockers in the league for a long time. Maybe not as much as before, right? But still getting his first upgrade in a long time. For the Thunder, Poku goes minus two. A guy who's been having a good year all year gets his first downgrade of the year. That sucks, but you know, it's, it's he's still young, so it's not a big deal. Well, that's pretty funny to me. Nas Reed goes plus one, but he's been injured like the entire time. I don't know how he went. In, I don't know how he got an upgrade when he's been hurt, but he enters the AD overall club for the first time in his career, and I applaud him. For the Trailblazers, Shaden Sharp plus two. 100% deserving, I'd argue even more. In the last 10 games, he's been leading the team in scoring. Assuming Dame leaves this team, Shaden Sharp is gonna have a nice future. Jonathan Kaminga for the Warriors goes plus one. Uh, besides that, no Warriors change, but that's a good thing because the depth on this team was the thing that wasn't really succeeding. And it's looking like it's a little different now. And finally for the Wizards, it's Corey Crispert plus one. He's turned into a sniper for the Wizards. And hopefully next season, he can keep doing it so they can maybe make the playoffs. But okay. Those are the rating changes. I'm gonna make a video, probably in a couple of days, saying what I finally think about all the teams and which ones I disagreed with because there's a lot of teams I still think they got wrong. But overall, I'm glad they addressed a couple of players like Shaden Sharp, Nas Reed should have been in the 80 overall club, so that's good. And maybe like Austin Reeves was another example of someone that should have gotten an upgrade, so that's good. A good upgrades in this video. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this channel, please give it a sub. I'll see you guys next time.